Hey guys, I'm not going to bore you with a long intro. Uh, it's Friday the, the 11th. We had a huge, huge major cold front come through. Uh, it rained its butt off yesterday. It was still raining this morning. It was about about 1 o'clock this morning. It was, it was like 71 degrees, and now we're down in the mid-40s. The wind's been blowing hard all day. Uh, we're expecting it to get down in the low to mid-30s uh, where we're hunting at. Uh, we do have a little unique challenge there is a managed hunt going on on the conservation ground that i hunt um, there are going to be some rifle hunters uh, so we'll have to wear orange walking in and walking out we're not required to wear it um, during the day uh, while we're while we're sitting there so there's only going to be like 50 hunters so it's not going to be that big of a deal um, we do really think that the deer are going to be moving this weekend because of the temperature drop so I'm really hoping that the wife gets a deer this weekend because starting next weekend or the next time we hunt I'm gonna be hunting on my own and she's gonna be hunting on her own um, she does have a tactic cam on her bow so hopefully she can get some good footage too and I it's time for me to start looking for that bigger deer so that's what we're all after some big mature bucks but it's a little hard to do on public land it's a little hard to do anywhere but public land presents a, a different set of challenges because of the amount of pressure that happens and those bigger mature deer they pattern us as much as we pattern them so uh stick with us enjoy the show and uh we'll see you in the stand tomorrow morning cold <laughs> good morning everybody it's 7 20 in the morning we've already had two deer come in and it looked like a doe and a yearling. We thought maybe we was going to get a shot. They come in about 35 yards. But they're real skittish. The wind's blowing. It's cold. Um, probably in the mid-30s. It's not real cold. But it's the coldest air we've had all year. So it's early. And they're already on their feet. So hopefully... Keep your fingers crossed, today's going to be the day. Maybe we can get on the board today, so get a little meat in the freezer. Hang around, let's see what happens. She's down. She's on the ground. We are on the board. Go down. Now it's a wife's turn. If she wouldn't have had that cup of coffee in her hand, she'd have killed that one. Yeah. Alright guys, here's a little tree stand tip for you. As you can tell that doe come in, I barely had time to turn my cameras on. And I sure in the heck didn't have time to arrange her. So what I like to do when I'm in the stand, when I first get up here, is I will turn around and I'll take my rangefinder 
and I will click off the big trees around me so I kind of know how far those deer are before they ever get in here. Once they come past that certain tree, I know it's 25 yards or 35 yards or however far that tree is. I've already got it marked in my head that that tree is X amount of yards and I know what pin I need to use. I don't have to pick up my um, range finder when that deer's coming in. So all I have to do is turn my cameras on and then focus on the shot. That's all I have to do. It makes things a lot easier. Try that out. Let me know what you think. Oh, and another tip. Once the deer start coming in, no matter how cold you are, do not reach for coffee. Because that will cost you a shot. It cost her a shot Probably this morning. <laughs> This little five-pointer come walking in right underneath our stand. Not a legal deer to take, so we just watched him as he tried to figure out what we were. We had gone back to camp to grab the cart and the knife, field dress the deer, and my friend Mike come down to help us get it all prepared, put it on the cart, and help me drag it out of the woods. It's amazing to me how hunting brings people together. This magnificent animal that we pursue has made us friends and co-workers. It brings us time with our family and our friends. And we just enjoy our successes and our defeats together and learn from each other as we hunt these beautiful white-tailed deer. I want to send out a great thank you to my friend Mike, who helps me every time when he's in camp with me. I'm sure I'll have to return the favor when he harvests his deer later this year. Unfortunately, this is the only critter we saw. Well, guys, we got skunked. <laughs> we saw a coyote, saw a raccoon, a bunch of squirrels. But it was a beautiful morning. The winds were pretty calm. It was cold. We really figured we'd see something after seeing so many yesterday. So. We'll be home this next weekend. We're going to butcher that deer. and We'll come back up the following weekend. And that's when I'll start hunting for my bigger deer. You can't eat antlers, but they sure look nice on the wall. So we're going to try and uh, see if we can't find a mature buck. 
and the wife will keep coming right here to this spot. It's a really good spot and heavy crossing. We generally see all kinds of deer here, so I think the flooding's pretty much done. And the... Hey guys, not only did I get a deer, now I have another harvest. Yet another type of mushroom. Um, easy to identify. It's called a coral mushroom. Uh, they have a very similar taste to a morel uh, if you fry them and they're absolutely kind of beautiful. Um, they're called coral mushrooms for a reason. I'll show you some. So you can see it kind of looks like a coral reef. 100% edible. Um, I like to fry them. They'll come in this orange color, uh, kind of tans and browns and white, but they're really pretty and they're uh, easy to find this time of year. It's, uh, let's see, what, what is it? October the 13th, Sunday the 13th. So about mid-October, it's not too cold yet. We had some cold mornings, but it's been fairly decent in the afternoon. Had some moisture. These are fairly fresh. And I'll see if I can't find some more. I'll give you a few more pictures of them uh, when I find and some. And there's ones. one right here. It looks a little old. Maybe the frost got to it the other day. Here's one. So they grow in clusters, and you'll find them in the hardwoods. Um, they're pretty easy to find once you. Oh, here's a big one. Here's some bigger ones. There's a better shot. Look at that. How beautiful that is. You see, here's some over here. Two big bags of coral mushrooms. Can't beat that. You know, we've had a really good weekend. We, we harvested a deer. We get harvested some coral mushrooms. We got to spend some time outside uh, with my wife and, and with my friend Mike who helped us drag the deer out and, and all that other good stuff. It's it's part of why we're out here. You know, uh, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and thanks for watching When Nature's Calling Outdoors. Speaking of When Nature's Calling, I gotta go. <laughs>